Good morning. It's Thursday, May 9th, 2019. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, The Scroll, and our scripture is Revelation chapter 5. Then I saw a scroll in the right hand of the one who was sitting on the throne. It was writing on the inside and the outside of the scroll, and it was sealed with seven seals. And I saw a strong angel who shouted with a loud voice, Who is worthy to break the seals on this scroll and open it? But no one in heaven or on earth or under the earth was able to open the scroll and read it. Then I began to weep bitterly because no one was found worthy to open the scroll and read it. But one of the twenty-four elders said to me, Stop weeping. Look, the Lion of the tribe of Judah, the heir to David's throne, has won the victory. He's worthy to open the scroll and its seven seals. Then I saw a lamb that looked as if it had been slaughtered, but it was now standing between the throne and the four living beings and among the twenty-four elders. He had seven horns and seven eyes, which represent the sevenfold Spirit of God that is sent out into every part of the earth. He stepped forward and took the scroll from the right hand of the one sitting on the throne. And when he took the scroll, the four living beings and the twenty-four elders fell down before the Lamb. Each one had a harp, and they held gold bowls filled with incense, which are the prayers of God's people. And they sang a new song with these words, You are worthy to take the scroll and break its seals and open it, for you were slaughtered. And your blood has ransomed people for God from every tribe and language and people and nation. And you have caused them to become a kingdom of priests for our God. And they will reign on the earth. It's a moment long hoped for. It's that which you know deep down is going to happen, but it's been so long since first that hope entered your mind and then seeped down into your soul. It's surreal. Strange, odd, and dreamlike, this hope of all things becoming new, stepping into privileged, rarefied air. John's vision carries him to God's throne room, where the scroll of God is playing central role. Throughout the ages of humanity, no person has been or is worthy to open that scroll. Not Moses, Elijah, nor any of the prophets and patriarchs or apostles or politicians have the resume to even approach the throne, let alone handle the eternal record of humankind's sin. And John weeps. He weeps for his own sins and for ours. If sin cannot be cleansed and washed away in a flood of righteous mercy, there is nothing else but judgment in which we will all perish. For there is none righteous, no, not one. But one of the twenty-four elders, perhaps Peter or Andrew, maybe Joseph or Abraham, steps forward and bellows, Stop the weeping! There is one! One! And suddenly the moment is electric with hope fulfilled. The Lamb, Jesus Christ, steps forward to receive and fulfill the words written in the scroll of God. Hope will not only be eternal, It will be lived, because the incontestable promise of God is here. It is now, not someday. The long haul of daily living and hoping for the realization of a long-held dream to be now and not then is something placed inside us as a hard wire. We humans are, above all else, people of hope. Prisoners of the Holocaust speak of losing hope. When every shred of life had been sucked out of one of their comrades, they would give away their possessions and smoke their last cigarette, climb into their bed, turn to the wall, and never wake up. That is why John wept. If there was no worthy person to save us, hope was just a mirage, an illusion that would vanish like the morning mist. But this drama in heaven is better than any Hollywood movie ending. Because this is not an ending. It's the opening of eternity. For you today, is your hope tank running on empty? Look up. Your redemption is close. And it's certain. It's written in God's scroll. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.